Hey guys, your objective of this video is a quick introduction to some of the theoretical concepts behind wind loading. Wind loading is found in AS1170.2 and that's going to be the standard we're going to be using for the examples in this video, AS1170.2 2002, part 2 structural design actions, part 2 wind loads. So, the objective of this video, we're going to be talking about some theoretical concepts involving external wind pressure, internal wind pressure, combination of pressure, and pressure to force. So the first thing we're talking about is external pressure. Now this is a typical schematic of what happens. We have wind load like this. This wind load will put a positive pressure on what we call the windward wall. All the windward wall is the wall where the wind is hitting. Okay. Obviously the wind can come from this direction or this direction, so the windward wall is subject to change depending on the direction of the wind. In this case the wind's coming from this direction, so we call this the windward wall. Now it induces a positive pressure on the windward wall, and when we think of this as a push, it's going gonna, it's gonna to try and push this wall down. Everywhere else it's creating a suction, which is a pull. So as the wind uh, will flow over this roof, it's going to cause the roof to um, be in suction. It's going to be causing the roof to try pull up off the house. Same on this side of the roof, it's going to try cause it to pull up. And on the leeward wall here, the leeward wall is the opposite to the windward wall, so it's where the wind exits. It's also going to try pull that wall out from the building. So everywhere is in suction, and we call that's negative, and the positive we call pressure, and that's a push. It's just important to try get around these concepts of push and pull because we're going to see when we get to the combination of pressure the positive and negatives don't really help us that much we need to rather think of them as push and pull so the wind comes and hits the wall it's putting a pressure on it which is causing it to push against the wall whereas everywhere else the roof and the leeward wall we're getting suction which is causing a pull on the roof and the leeward wall just a three-dimensional picture to help put it in a bit more context the wind's coming from this direction here. We're getting positive pressure on the wall here, causing a push on the roof and leeward wall, as well as the sidewall. I couldn't depict it here because it's 2D, but on the sidewall as well, as the wind goes around the building, it's going to.